of uh, 20 or 30 teachers in Bezalel and Shankar to decide for me what's a good uh, piece of follow. And uh, I do know some of my friends who can really help me to understand the work and to uh, experience it, and maybe even to move me understanding the, the, the piece of art uh, much better than the critics in the arts or in Galeria, or Galeria was here. So what I'm trying to say that I fully agree with the fact that participants uh, have uh, a voice. And I'd love them to share with their voices, their ideas, their opinions, because there are no ten commandments. Thank you. So what you're saying is not only that the audience should participate, the audience should uh, decide what is considered art. To be part of, I even, I would say even more, I, I can see the participants of uh, an exhibition uh, being, what's it? Being the curator. I mean, who said that uh, we cannot be the curator? Uh, let's assume that uh, your mother's gallery uh, uh, present us a, a, a proposition of 100 of uh, works and the walls can take only 15. Who said the curator uh, uh, is, will uh, present me with a better exhibition rather than uh, a decision of uh, 1,000 uh, uh, people uh, through Twitter or through uh, the web? Okay, so thank you very much. And I would like to meet you, a well-known photographer and the head of photography department in the Solar Academy that let us know what you think about the concept. Some inside information uh, will meet each other at least one of the month in galleries who always ask me. So you are the artist, tell me what, what is good and what is wrong. So, okay. But uh, I, I think the problem with this method, and with a lot of photograph, is uh, first of all, it looks to me like a kind of top bed. But the top bed follow the article, the newspaper, the article, and we are the top. In this case, we are not sure that the guy who write the, the top have the ability to read the text. And the text is really complicated. It's complicated uh, also in terms of context. When you see a piece of art, if you don't know anything about the history of art, or the history of art, or about the context of the piece itself, you don't have the ability to read it. Now, let's say that to write the topic is not a problem, or it might be to read the topic. And then, even if I like the principle of this postmodernism idea, I think that we need some kind of filters to understand and to the context of the, of the piece of art. I don't want to go, I don't want to go. Who is the visitors? The visitors. Uh, you know, you guys, uh, let's say, uh, uh, let's say that we see the girl. But you don't know that the context of the Guernica is the civil war in Spain. So the, how you read the Guernica is absolutely different. So you need at least some knowledge uh, to put things in, in context. But you can combine between the context and the knowledge and uh, the way the, the visitors see the, the piece of art. But uh, it's a very delicate point that so I understand that you are talking all once about the, that you are afraid that ignorance will rule, and also that the content, the context, the, sorry, the context of the work is crucial to its understanding, and without it, uh, the understanding is damaged. I think that the problem with these kind of methods is 
to fit in the food and how you manage to explain something that is more complicated than what you see in front of you. We have here Maya Han, who is a performance artist, that it's a genre of art that uh, in its essence uh, blurs the definition between uh, the artist and the, the participant, and includes the participant as part of the artwork itself. So maybe you can explain in one sentence what is performance art and how is it related to this. Um, mm -hmm. First of all, I want to thank you and I'm happy to be in this panel. It's very big to people. And I have to say that I kind of sums up or find a middle line between kind of what you both are saying. Uh, I think that the world is in the web. Uh, and if we like it or not, uh, there are masses and masses of people who create extra content and contents uh, for each work that has been created in the real world. And the way I see it, the way that I kind of been engaged in performance art is that is for me, especially in modern up-to-date art, uh, I define art as what happens in between the people who are cure, cre creating and the artifact to the audience. So this is to me the kind of uh, area, arena where all this is happening. And, uh, once we take uh, a fact, once we have to, since these are uh, for me the main interests, and uh, performance art is actually based on the assembling of three things. First of all is that the body is your material sort of the first kind of base that you come up with. And the two other elements is that it's time-based and space-based. Almost as if it's like on the internet, like there is always time and it's always live. It's only the experience that the audience is willing to take back. There is no way to create a souvenir out of this art. And I believe that all this world is getting more and more into the world. And this is why a tool or a device or a community, or I don't really know what the world to put on what you're suggesting, uh, is really necessary. I do believe we have to be in there. We have, if we wanted to make sense, if we wanted to be in good content or to add good things and not just a like button on every work we can see, we have to be there. We have to make sure we are the ones who create that system. And this is why the platform of your idea is a really good idea to share here with people who are within the art, within the sorry, internet community. And even if you don't even have a clue or if you don't think you have a clue of art, to me, you are more audience than people I know who know the history of each and every work. And you are the live, we are the live, and this is why everything that is now, we kind of, even if you really want to kind of not look at it or regard it, this is it. So we have to kind of catch up, and that's why I think your idea is so kind of on to see actually what's going on now. Okay, thank you. And then uh, maybe have something to react to that matter? I'd like to follow the example of uh, the Guernica. Um, you know, it's not only the, uh, the uh, a journalist or a professor who knows about the background of the article. It's, it's definitely uh, necessary to understand the background of the But, uh, you know, since we are all living in the liberal world, we all know that the Guernica is part of the civil war in uh, Spain. We are all part of the uh, problem, the series that uh, uh, admires and supports the Republicans rather than the fascists. But I can think, uh, Mickey, of so many people who can look at the Guernica quite different than we are, the liberals. Very many. So why giving the power, the authority, again I'm talking about the authority, and authority is power, uh, why giving them to uh, interpret uh, the Guernica? Because I can think of uh, uh, people who support Franco, who supported Franco, or that may even be more delicate. People who are revisionist uh, and looking at the Republicans in Spain and their crimes during the uh, uh, Civil War, and look at the Guernica differently than, uh, than we all uh, liberals look at. And even more so, if you're a Catalan or a Spanish guy, or a Basque, where the, uh, where the Guernica is, uh, you're probably looking at it differently than uh, the authority who sits somewhere and explains to us, tells us what is the Guernica. The Guernica is about many stories. And all many stories should be part uh, of these critics of uh, looking at the background because there is no background to the Guernica. There are backgrounds. And it's in the eyes of the, of the, of the guy who comes to 
the exhibition to decide what is a Guernica and what does it express us. For some people, it expresses a disaster. For some people, it expresses uh, uh, a hope. Um, and they are all very equal. They are all very legal. And they are all uh, has the, the right to explain to me and be part of the critics to explain to me what the Guernica is. It's not a question of point of view, it's a question of knowledge. From the point of view, it's obvious. We may say it's and it's what it's okay. But we both need the same concern of knowledge. I refer to the system we are talking about. It's not giving you the knowledge as the, as the expert, let's say. And uh, the Guernica is an easy exception, uh, an example, but okay. If you don't have any knowledge, the only base you have to see the art is in based on, on how, you, how you like the craft, for example. But the craft is not the only thing in the in a, in a of art. So the only way this kind of uh, success is to motivate, and I understand that Turo is very against the, the, the idea of motoring them. But I want to give one more example to, to explain my point. Every year we had seven or four interviews, people who want to uh, be accepted to Svetsare. It's a tough job. The first question we ask if they have some exhibition, they say, uh, sometimes they saw something, sometimes they didn't. Where you see, where you saw photos on the internet? Spanish yeah. photos, you see. And they say some names we really don't know. And the last time I took a computer with me and I was doing Google, the name, searching the name. It's very problematic. It's really very problematic. And this is the reason, one of the reasons why I think that you should do this kind of action. Thank you. I would like to add to the Guernica debate that uh, Roland Barthes used to say the death, wrote about the death of the author. I don't know if it's translated right in Hebrew, Motan Echover. And he even take his to the extreme. It doesn't matter what Picasso meant. It matters what I see in it. And I can see something that is not a war even and, and still have find meaning in it. I just want to add one thing and I think we're all kind of agreeing with is that definitely in t up to today times and in modern web internet based reality, uh, we need the audience. The art does not exist without the audience. And this is kind of the point that we all kind of, we will not sit here if none of us would have an audience. So it's still maybe time to think, focus on them on, as users. All right, so thank you very much.